Welcome to this Medicine Masterclass on Pneumonia. Pneumonia is a lower respiratory tract illness associated with fever, symptoms and signs in the chest associated with abnormalities on the chest radiograph, and there are a number of symptoms that the patient may report. Usually an abrupt onset of cough, shortness of breath and fever, with purulent sputum, sweating and rigors, and in some cases hemoptysis. The patient may feel nauseated and vomiting, have extra respiratory symptoms such as muscle aches, diarrhea, and uh, in, uh, in extremis may have mental state alteration. On examination, you may notice purulent sputum. The patient may appear tachypneic. On the affected side, they may have reduced chest wall movements. The trachea would be expected to be central, but on percussion, there would be a dull note with increased tactile vocal fremitus and resonance as sound is transmitted more easily through the consolidated lung and they would have bronchial breath sounds, crackles and ronchi with agophony. In terms of investigating these patients, a chest radiograph would demonstrate lobar or multilobar infiltrates or cavitations or pleural effusions. The bloods would suggest a raised white cells, raised uh, um, inflammatory markers, you would expect an increase in the lactate, CRP, user knees and liver function tests would also be important to determine whether or not the patient is septic and cultures would help you determine which organism uh, is causing septicemia. If the sputum, it's very important to send the sputum for microscopy, culture and sensitivities. An ABG and arterial blood cast is important in patients who are desaturating to determine whether or not they are in type 1 respiratory failure. If there's signs or symptoms or a history suggestive of an atypical pneumonia, a urine release in Ella screen is important. And if there's pleural fluid noted on the chest radiograph, then that pleural fluid uh, should be sent for analysis. If the patient is unwell or uh, immunocompromised, bronchiolar alveolar lavage can help facilitate the diagnosis. And if there's a pneumonia that's not resolving or the clinical signs or parameters are not improving, a CT of the chest uh, plus or minus a CT pulmonary angiogram may be required to look for other uh, concomitant conditions. In terms of grading pneumonia, because this is a very common condition and patients can present with pneumonia to their GP or to the hospital, we grade severity using the CURB 65 score. The C stands for whether or not the patient is confused. Urea is if the urea, is, they'll score a point if the urea is more than seven millimoles per litre, a point if the respiratory rate is more than 30 per minute, and blood pressure, patients score a point if their systolic is less than 90 or their diastolic is less than 60, and patients will score if their age is 65 or above. Now, if the score, the CURB 65 score is high, 4 or 5, consider level 2 or 3 care in high dependency or in intensive care. If the score is uh, 3, they're at high risk of death. Scores of 2 is a moderate risk of death and these patients should be admitted to hospital for short stay or supervised outpatient therapy but patients with a score of 0 or 1 are considered to have a low risk of death and can be considered to have therapy at home. Now as well as grading we can classify pneumonia as community acquired that's usually caused by streptococcus pneumonia and Hib and mycoplasma and usually um, it just occurs in the community. A hospital-acquired pneumonia or a nosocomial infection is a pneumonia that's acquired after being uh, in a hospital setting or a healthcare setting such as a nursing home after 48 hours of admission. And usually the organisms are more serious, gram-negative enterobacteri or staphylococcus or pseudomonal species, Klebsiella and Crostatidia, can cause hospital-acquired infections. And patients can deteriorate more rapidly and require aggressive interventions. An aspiration pneumonia is a results from the ingestion of oropharyngeal anaerobes that can uh, affect the lungs very common in stroke patients or those with poor swallow where there's some aspiration onto the lungs. Atypical pneumonia are those which are not caused by typical organisms and so the presentation is dominated not only by um, respiratory but non-respiratory symptoms such as fatigue, headache, myalgia and there's only moderate amounts of sputum, no major consolidation, maybe just a mild increase in the inflammatory markers and the organisms that can that that can cause these types of pneumonia include uh, mycoplasma, 
chlamydia and legionella. Bacteria can be classified by their shape. Cocci or circular bacteria can be individual, called a coccus. If there are two, called a diplococci, and these can be capsulated. Uh, strips of cocci, known as streptococci, or clusters, uh, for example, staphylococci. Bacilli can also cause infections as well as budding and appendage bacteria which have hyphae or stalks and there are other forms of bacteria such as vibrio, club rod or corkscrew or spirochetes. Bacteria can also be classified based on their gram staining. For example, gram positive bacteria can be bacilli or cocci, but gram positive bacilli include Clostridium listeria bacillus which can cause quite aggressive uh, chest infections and pneumonia. The gram-positive cocci can be further subdivided as catalase positive and catalase negative. The catalase positive species include Staphylococcus and catalase positive coagulase positive cocci include Staphylococcus aureus, whereas coagulase negative include Staphylococcus epidermidis and Saprophyticus. Now cocci which are catalase negative include the streptococci and these can be alpha hemolytic or beta hemolytic and of the alpha hemolytic the common organisms include strep pneumoniae and strep viridans. The beta hemolytic species include strep pyogenes or strep agalactici and there are also um, other enterococci which are catalase negative streptococci. So there's a whole way of categorizing bacteria and these features allow us to target therapy. Moreover, this classification usually results in typical features. For example, pneumococcal infections, which are the commonest uh, causes of pneumonia, result in the classic symptoms of fever, cough, sputum, and lobar consolidation and pleurisy. Staphylococcal pneumonias, which are usually seen in immunosuppressed patients, those taking uh, intravenous uh, drugs, patients who are immunosuppressed, can cause very severe bilateral cavitating bronchopneumonias and usually need treatment with high dose long uh, intravenous flucloxacillin. And if the patient has a methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, may require a change in antibiotics to something like vancomycin. Klebsiella is a rarer cause of pneumonia and this usually causes a cavitating pneumonia affecting the upper lobes. Pseudomonas, which is common in cystic fibrosis and bronchiectasis, is a relatively common nosocomial or hospital acquired infection usually seen in patients in, who are intubated on uh, intensive care. Mycoplasma usually results in uh, extra respiratory symptoms, flu-like symptoms, headache, myalgia, arthralgia, dry cough, and on chest radiograph, we demonstrate radionodular shadowing or patchy consolidation. And the patient may also have cold agglutinins, which may cause autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Other specific pneumonia, such as Legionella, Legionella colonizes water tanks, which are kept at less than 60 degrees. And so, um, outbreaks can be seen in hotels, air conditioning units or areas where the water system is not used for a while and a Legionella can colonize and aggregate and can cause a public health outbreak and can, patients affected with Legionella may have uh, headache, myalgia, arthralgia, dry cough uh, and on their blood tests may show lymphopenia, hyponatremia and deranged liver function tests. Chlamydia again is a, an atypical pneumonia and this usually causes a biphasic infection, uh, initially a pharyngitis, hoarseness and an otitis, then followed by a pneumonia. And these atypical infections are usually treated with, uh, with uh, tetracyclines or clarithromycin. And chlamydophilia cytokai, cytokosis is an uh, ornithosis or a zoonotic infection acquired from infective birds, usually parrots, again requiring uh, treatment with clarithromycin or tetracycline. Be aware that as well as bacteria, viruses such as uh, influenza, CMV, VZV, uh, COVID-19 can cause specific pneumonias. Pneumocystis carinae or PCP presents in immunocompromised patients, particularly those with HIV uh, and can result in exertional dyspnea and in particular when these patients are exercised they tend to rapidly desaturate. The chest x-ray can be normal 
uh, and then very quickly deteriorate. And usually this is diagnosed on sputum MCNS, bronchiolar alveolar lavage lung biopsy, and is treated with septrin or cortramoxazole or, or pentamidine. So to manage pneumonias, uh, conservatively we optimize any other comorbidities Patients should be encouraged to give up alcohol or, or smoking, which can improve the immune system. Physiotherapy to help expectoration of mucus. And if you see a consolidation on a chest x-ray, that on a chest radiograph, that should be repeated to ensure resolution, to make sure that that consolidation is not something more sinister. Uh, vaccination can be offered, pneumococcal vaccination can be offered to high risk groups, such as those with heart failure, liver failure, renal failure, immunosuppressed, hyposplenic patients, patients with AIDS or on chemotherapy, um, but, you, but not those who are uh, pregnant or lactating. Medically, we give antibiotics, which can be oral or intravenous, as well as intravenous fluids, oxygen therapy to ensure the SATs are kept above 94%, unless there's a specific indication where the saturation range can be kept between 88 and 92. We also give these patients good analgesia and antipyretics. Uh, and if patients deteriorate, early escalation uh, using non-invasive ventilation such as NIV, CPAP, or transferring the patient to a high dependency or intensive care setting for more advanced respiratory support can be life-saving. Thank you for attending this Medicine Masterclass.